Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this lesson where we are going to explore the basic concepts behind exponents. Now, as always with our lessons, we're going to start out by guiding our thinking with a question, and that question is, what is an exponent? But first, let's chill by the pool for a moment. Let's also consider the addition of a tropical drink which would not be complete without a mini umbrella. Um, what does this have to do with math? Well, exponents work like this. We have some number that's called our base value. That's like the actual drink in the glass. Exponent is like the little umbrella up at the top. So now we can extend our thinking to looking at some numbers. Imagine if we had three with a little two up at the top right hand corner. This notation says that three is the base value and two is the exponent. We should also note that exponents are also called powers. So for this example, we could say three to the power of two or three raised to the power of two. <laughs> so now mathematically, what does three to the power of two even mean? So this is how it works. We always start off with the base value, in this case, three. And since it's being raised to a power of two, we will be using the number three two times. And anytime we work with exponents, our operation is going to be multiplication. So we're multiplying those two threes together. Another way to say it is three times three, which we know equals nine. So three to the second power, is equal to three times three, which is equal to nine. And now we can extend this thinking. We know that three to the second power equals three times three. We're multiplying three twice. Three to the third power equals three times three times three. We're multiplying three three times. And of course, three to the fourth power is going to equal three times three times three times three, or three multiplied four times. So now we can stop and make a conclusive statement, and that statement is that an exponent tells you how many times the base value is multiplied by itself. Now for those of you currently studying algebra, you're probably thinking, what about variables? Well, what if we add something like x times x times x times x? Using our understanding of how exponents work, we can conclude that this would be equivalent to x raised to the power of 4, or x to the 4th power, since there are 4 x's being multiplied together. <laughs> cool. So let's keep these concepts in mind and really think about and visualize what they mean and what they represent because we're going to go ahead and extend them to using the laws of exponents in future lessons. So check those out, and thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you soon. Bam, you finished that lesson. Good job. Thanks again for stopping by. Please click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you next time. You know it. See ya.